we're going to go through four of the problem solving cards that are on unique learning. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to read through them and we're going to think about if we think this is categorized as an emergency. And if it is, who are we going to call? And what will you say or what will you do in that situation? So the first one is, you are at an amusement park and you drop your ice cream cone onto the ground. Is this an emergency? No, not really an emergency. You might be sad about it, but it's really not an emergency. Are you gonna call anybody? Are you gonna call 911 because you dropped your ice cream cone? No, you're not gonna call 911 if you drop your ice cream cone. 911 should only be utilized when it's a true emergency, when it has to do with someone's health. And what will you say or what will you do? Who can you go to in this situation? You dropped your ice cream cone and you had just left the stand. Who might you be able to talk to? You might be able to go up to the counter and they may be very nice and give you a brand new cone if you happen to go up to the counter and say, oh my gosh, I dropped my ice cream cone. They'll feel bad for you and more than likely, they'll probably give you one for free. Here's situation number two. You're at the wave pool, which is in the water park portion of an amusement park, and you're enjoying yourself and you're with your friends. Maybe you kind of coast off from your friends and you're just sort of floating around. And a man that you don't know, he keeps touching you, maybe touching you on your shoulder, putting his arm around you, maybe touching your leg. Is this an emergency? This can be considered a dangerous situation. Um, I don't know if I would call 911 right away, but who could you talk to in this situation? You could probably talk to one of the employees that is watching the wave pool. More than likely, they probably have some sort of lifeguard there. I would just start yelling very loudly, don't touch me! Embarrass that person because it's not right. No one has the right to touch you unless you are asking to be touched, especially a stranger. And what will you say or do? Like I said, I would say, do not touch me. Keep your hands off of me. Say it very firm and say it loud. Say it loud enough so the people all around will be paying attention to what that person's doing. And make sure that you tell one of those lifeguards or one of the amusement park employees that someone you don't know is touching you inappropriately. This way, maybe they'll escort that person out of the park. Situation number three, you're super hungry and you're like, whoa, I could go for a hot dog. You go to the hot dog stand, but the hot dogs aren't ready yet. So the guy has to make sure that it's cooked on the grill. So he's cooking your hot dog on the grill and he takes out a bun and he goes to put your hot dog in the bun. But instead of in the bun, that hot dog, it ends up on the floor. Now he picks the hot dog up off the floor, puts it back in the bun and tries to hand it to you on a tray. Is that an emergency? No, that's not really an emergency. That's not something that you're gonna dial 911 about, but that's definitely not practicing good food hygiene, definitely not food safety. You never serve something that falls on the floor. So what are you gonna say? What are you going to do? You should advocate for yourself. This is the best time to do it. You look at that employee and you say, sir or ma'am, I am not eating that hot dog. I saw it fall on the floor and that is not practicing good food safety skills. You better give me a new hot dog. And if they don't follow through with giving you a new hot dog or try to serve you that one, you should then ask to probably talk to that person's manager or boss because I don't think that their boss is gonna be very happy if they're trying to serve you a hot dog that fell on the floor. Situation number four, you're sitting on a bench and you're waiting for your friends to get off of a ride when suddenly 
a little boy sits next to you and he starts crying, saying he doesn't know where his mom and dad are and that he's lost. Is this an emergency? Yeah, this is an emergency, but you're at an amusement park, so I don't think I would dial 911 right away. Who could you talk to? You would look for somebody wearing a, an amusement park uniform and they, you would tell them, I this sat down and this little child sat next to me and is lost. They can't find their mom and dad. From there, the amusement park employee will take over and probably take that child to the lost and found area because I'm sure he's probably not the first lost child that they've had in the park because some of them are quite big. But you want to make sure that you're handing that child off to a park employee that can best help them find their parents.